Welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time. We are still in 1982. Today, we're going to talk about the Tron Arcade game. The story of the Tron video game takes us to Bally Midway. We have talked about Bally and Midway in the past. Bally was established in 1932 as a division of Lion Manufacturing as a means for its parent company to make pinball machines. As time went on, Bally would not only create pinball machines, but also slot machines. By the end of the 1960s, Bally had cornered over 90% of the slot machine market. After going public, Bally acquired Midway Manufacturing in 1969. Midway Manufacturing was founded in 1958 as an amusement manufacturer by founders Henry Ross and Marcine Wolverton. Bally and Midway would be instrumental in the early video game industry. We talked about Bally and Midway's role in the creation of Pong in our video on Pong. We have also mentioned a few games that Midway published in America, particularly Taito's Space Invaders and Namco's Pac-Man. Midway also published their own game in Ms. Pac-Man in 1982. Bally also released their own home console, the Bally Astrocade, in 1978. In 1982, Bally merged its pinball division with Midway to form Bally Midway. It was this company that was tasked with the creation of a video game based on the film Tron. We have talked about Tron in its own video. The film has the protagonist dive into a computer, play video games from the inside, and save the system. Bally Midway had two design teams give their ideas for a game based on the film. One team proposed a game with vector graphics and a first-person perspective. The other team proposed a game composed of five smaller games. Due to hardware limitations, the second design was selected. This team was led by programmer Bill Adams and composer Earl Vickers. As development continued, time constraints prevented the fifth minigame from being developed, so only four minigames are present in the game. The player plays as Tron in the four minigames based on events in the film. Those can be selected from the main screen, although which game the player chooses is not revealed until after the choice is made. If a player loses the game, the player will lose a life and will be taken back to the selection screen. One of the minigames is named I.O. Tower. In it, the player must guide Tron to the I.O. Tower while avoiding grid bugs. Another minigame is named MCP Cone. In it, the player must guide Tron through the MCP shield and enter into the cone. A third minigame is named Light Cycles. Light Cycles is based on the Snake genre of games. Snake is a genre of game that was started in 1976 with Gremlin Industries Blockade. In Snake-style games, the player's trail will fill the screen and must be avoided while the player is constantly moving. In Light Cycles, the player tries to force the enemy's cycles into the walls and the trails while avoiding those with their own cycle. The final minigame is named Battle Tanks. In it, the player controls Tron's red battle tank and must destroy the enemy's blue battle tanks. If the player can complete all the minigames, they will move on to the next level, where the player can choose from the same minigames again, but at a higher difficulty. The 12 levels of the game are all named after programming languages. Bally Midway released Tron to arcades in August 1982, one month after the film was released. That is the short backstory to the Tron arcade game. With that now told, it's time to play the game for ourselves. 
And here we are in the game. This is the Tron Arcade game. As you can see, there are two copyrights on the screen there. Uh, one is copyright 1981 by Walt Disney Productions, and one is uh, 1982 by Bally Midway. Uh, they're going to try to show all the different uh, mini games that are available to us, but I feel that they are really simple enough that we can kind of just go in and don't necessarily need any sort of introduction to him so i'm gonna go ahead and pop my quarter in and hit the button wait for it there it hits both sides um yeah it's all on the left to start uh i'm not particularly good at any of these mini games they're a little funky the way that it controls uh the game originally came with a joystick a paddle and a button the button was on the uh, joystick but there still was like this paddle controller this dial that you could turn and obviously i don't have that all right we're going to start with mcp cone uh let's see what i can do all right go get a little bit closer start spamming away all right i'm gonna go for it there we go that's kind of my strategy there is point at it kind of shoot it off to the left and then book it to the right and go for it all right so we have light cycles you have to hit the button to go faster in this one uh so i'm going to start by hitting the button kind of dance around this guy no too soon I, I didn't hit the the up button fast enough there all right so let's try that again now you can go back in but you do have to beat all four there is kind of a continue option in this game too which makes things nice so We'll keep going until I can at least beat everything. No! What am I doing? Too, I'm trying to cut off at the pass too early. Light cycles is... Like I said, I'm not particularly good at any of these, but I feel like I'm better at light cycles than this. Now, let's try again. I kind of just have the same pattern. There we go. Yeah, then I can just uh, <laughs> take my uh, finger off the gas and let him like work that out on, on his own. All right, we'll head in here. Now, tanks. I have not beaten tanks yet. I've been practicing a little bit, but this one is difficult for me. Mostly because it uses both the paddle and the, uh, the joystick at the same time. And you have to hit the tank uh, three times um, without getting hit in order to win. And that is difficult. Are you ever going to show up here? No, damn it. Like, they can move that thing, they can move their paddle way better than I can. All right, so I got the high score, somehow. Enter in my initials on a very strange initial selection screen. I believe they only gave me two, so put that in there. Yep. All right, we'll put in another quarter and we will continue where we last left off. Let's Let's do the other one first. All right, enter flashing circle before timer expires. All right, this is one of the ones that I'm better at, but I'm not, you know, still not good. All right. Cleared all the grid bugs out of my way. Let's get into the middle. As I said, I'm, I'm better at that one than I am the others. All right, let's go back to battle tanks and we'll waste the rest of my time do it, trying to do this. I don't know how I'm supposed to hit this three times. It proves to be very difficult. All right, there's one. No, get up. All right, somehow I did that. And it only took two shots, it looks like. All right, so we have beat. Uh, RPG was the programming language of the first level. Now we're on COBOL. Let's go to the left. All right, things are looking, a oh, way more difficult. All right, still clear the path though. Like I said, this one is is much more straightforward for me and I, I have an easier time with this one. All right, let's try. Oh no. Okay, somehow I pulled that off. All right, we did that somehow. So my shots are faster than theirs. That is good to know. Okay, we'll do this. Oh, why? No! Apparently light cycles is my problem today. Um, let's try it again. They team up on me. That guy just goes way too early. 
Is that it? Now I still got I, I got one more try at this. I I, I hit the button. Some like I don't hold it hard enough. I think is my issue. I'm not holding the button hard enough. I think we will we will keep going. See how far I can go here. The fact that I beat battle tanks at this stage makes me very happy. Um, we'll try again. And we'll, we'll try the MCP cone here. No. Point. Alright, go. And a thousand points for earning the cone. Alright, light cycles it is. They're teaming up on me. I should stick with my normal strategy. Go to the right. That works out better for me. I hit the button. I hit the button. Like I said, it's not as responsive as I would like. Wait, it ran into me and I lose? I call shenanigans on that. All right, I think I got one more because it's basically the same four mini games. Well, it, I mean, it's not basically. It is the same more four mini games just over and over again. And remember, these are all from Tron. If you have not seen Tron, these are events from Tron. Uh, the grid bugs they were mentioned, but they weren't actually ever seen. Uh, but you do have to go to the IO tower in the film. Uh, the light cycles was done. Battle tanks is towards the beginning. And what's the other one? MCP MCP cone that's uh, towards the end all right let's see if I can beat light cycles if not that might do it once again like he just goes a hair faster than me but like if I do the same thing I die but he wins if he does that all right I got one so don't take don't take my foot off the gas yet. I I hit the button twice? What are you doing to me, game? So the problem is that he's got more to work with. That was as fast as I could go. All right, there we go. Jeez, they won't let me do the hard turns like they can do. All right, we got a clear shot. Somehow we made it into the IO tower again. Yeah, they make things difficult. Where are we on now? Basic. The, the only language that we have talked about so far that I even have a fundamental understanding of. Oh, wow, that is moving very quick. Oh, it's going the opposite way. That's not fair. I was not prepared for this. I wasn't prepared at all. All right, so I, I think that's it. Like I said, it's just kind of the same things over and over again. Um, you can get really good at the game. I believe that the high score was something around uh, 14 million. Uh, so you can just keep going and going and going. It's not just going to stop after the 12 levels, but that number is insane. So we will let that expire. And that is Tron Played. And with the game now played, it's time to talk about how it holds up today. Playing the game today, I do have to say it is a fun collection of little mini games. Uh, but with that said, none of what we saw was... Uh, particularly innovative or uh, necessarily stands out amongst the rest. We have seen similar games before, um, even if we haven't necessarily played the snake game. Many people are familiar with that concept. Um, for a while, people would say that those were light cycle games because uh, this was the first version that they had seen. Um, but really nothing was really groundbreaking in this game. It is a combination of four mini games just kind of repeated over and over. Um, so it does get repetitive 
quickly. There is a bit of randomness to it because, of course, you're not going to see what game uh, you're getting into until you actually go over and select it. And it's randomized every time. Uh, but it is the same for just at harder difficulties. It's destroy the shields and walk past them. It's uh, destroy the grid bugs and walk past them. <laughs> it's the light cycle, which I had a little bit of trouble with. Um, the controls on it weren't as... Uh, good as I would like, especially for a game as deadly as Light Cycles. Um, and then, of course, the Battle Tanks one, which I feel would have been a lot easier should I have had the proper setup with the dial, with that paddle controller, so to speak. Um, if I had that, it would have been a lot easier. Then again, a lot of the mini games uh, would have been easier with that. Light Cycles was not one of them. Uh, the paddle is not necessarily used in that. Um, Ultimately, the, the four games don't really stand out, and I feel that this game would easily be forgotten if it didn't have the Tron name on it. And that's something that we haven't really experienced to this point, is that the game um, is popular because it does have the licensed property on it. And as a result, it is a licensed game because it has the license to use that intellectual property. Uh, without that, I don't think that this game would be remembered as well as it is. I don't think it would have been as successful at the time. Um, it, it really does rely on that movie license uh, for its popularity because nothing that we saw really stood out to me, at least playing from a modern perspective. Um, the graphics at the time were good. I mean, it looked like Tron, uh, but you can tell that it's not necessarily using the powerful hardware at the time. It actually uses a Zilog Z80 as well. And it shows it has the black background, um, outside of Tron and the grid bugs. There wasn't a lot of detail going on. Even the light cycles I felt didn't have as much detail as they could have. Um, and then, of course, it looks different than what the movie did because they probably saw an early version of the MCP shield uh, compared to what Disney released in the film. Uh, so it does look a little bit different than the film. Uh, the sound is pretty good. Uh, nothing wrong with the sound. It, it just kind of sounds like a crash uh, whenever I lose. Uh, it just kind of sounds like an explosion, so to speak. Um but yeah, the controls definitely needed to be tightened a bit. I feel there was definitely some work that needed to happen there uh, in order to make this stand out for me a little bit more. Um, honestly, if you're looking at this game, it's probably fun until you've tried all four of the games. I don't think you even need to beat all four of the games. Um, once you have tried it, you kind of see what the game has to offer. You can kind of just move on. Like I said, it's just, for me, uh, it stands out more because it has Tron on it. And if it wasn't Tron, and if it was just a collection of mini games like this, I don't think that it would be as fondly remembered today. So this is probably one that can be skipped. Um, but of course, you would be the better judge of that than I would if these mini games do interest you and you want to get so much better at the Tron arcade game. And that is my modern take on the game. When the Tron arcade game was released, it did prove successful. Reports of sales of the cabinet estimate the sales at 10,000 units. It is estimated that the game made between 30 and 45 million dollars by the end of 1983, 82 to 123 million dollars in 2021. Despite the success in 1982 and 1983, the game has not retained that level of popularity. The game has been largely ignored as time has gone on. The game's legacy is not long. The fifth minigame would be turned into its own game, but the game would not be ported to home consoles at the time, and the game would not see an official sequel. Looking ahead, the success of the Tron arcade game, along with their other published games, would lead to more video games from Bally Midway. We will be hearing from them again. As for Bill Adams and Earl Vickers, they would continue to work in the video game industry, and we will be hearing from them again as we continue. That will do it for the story of the Tron arcade game. My name is Baller Scuba. This has been Video Games Over Time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in our next video when we learn about a new console.